And of course I'm a bit anxious that I've lost one of my kids. Hi, it's Midnight Mule and we're on a train. I say we, I'm here with one of my girls and I thought I'd do a quick video about an example of bad parenting that's just happened. I'm doing this in the mirror so you can appreciate that the carriage, what the carriage is like. This is a an old steam train. So uh, I'll see if I can get a shot of the old steam train and then I'll carry on. So this is what happened then. We, we were supposed to get to the train station and pick up our tickets up to like 45 minutes before we were going to leave. And we left the cottage we are staying at in good time. And I thought, oh, we got a bit of time. We can afford to pop to a shop to try and get something. And I saw on a map that there was a supermarket about a five minute walk away. And I had uh, my 16 year old girl with me. So we went to the supermarket and you have to wear masks in there. And I said, anyway, we agreed that she was just going to stick with me. So we're going to pop in there, get something if they had it and pop out again. It's all nice and simple. So we're both outside and where we were, there was a cafe and a door open there, cafe of the supermarket. So I went in there, went to the place where this thing might be. They didn't have any, turned around and my girl wasn't there. Had a quick look and I couldn't see her. So I thought, oh, maybe she never came in. So I went back out and she wasn't where we'd come in. So I went back in again and I walked along one edge, looking down the various aisles and I couldn't see her. So I thought maybe I need to look better outside again. So I went back outside, had a better look and I still couldn't see her. So I went back inside, couldn't see her. And I spoke to one of the people and I said, is there somewhere where I can make an announcement because I can't find my girl that should be with me because we're on a tight schedule as well because we had to get to the station to get this train. Uh, so she pointed me to the tobacco booth area. I said, oh, if you go there, they can make an announcement for you. So I went over there and there was quite a queue. So I had to queue there for a while and all the time, time's ticking away. And of course, I'm uh, a bit anxious that I've got this short time scale and now I've lost one of my kids. And <laughs> So it's like I'm trying to work out what she likely to do now that we're split up if she can't fight me. But then shortly before the, I, I spoke to the person to get an announcement made, I saw her a little distance away in the supermarket because I could call for her. And then we managed to get to the station on time. Is this us pulling in? Can you see the station here? No, okay. So managed to, we managed to get to the station on time. And everything's okay apart from, of course, she was mad at me and because it was all my fault. And it kind of was because, to be fair, I did go through the exit and she says there was a sign there saying no entry, but I was focused on this, looking for this thing. So I just went straight there and I wasn't taking a notice of no entry signs. And she wanted to go through the proper entrance as so she went round to the entrance part. That meant we were straight away split up. And I was completely oblivious to the fact that we've been split up. So uh, a couple of things there. One, I should have kept an eye on her that we're still together. And uh, well, that's the main thing, of course. If I had done that, it wouldn't have been a problem. The other thing is potentially maybe you shouldn't really go through no entrance places. But there was a gap and there was no harm in going through the no entrance place. I think that's about it. And apparently she's forgiven me now, so that's nice. And this is the train journey. I hope that was interesting for some of you. If you care to leave a like, maybe a subscribe, leave a comment, that'd be good. Thanks.